today is a beautiful day, alhamdulillah, and thanks be to God because we have another day with lots of good stuff for us. So, what I want to talk about is, is alhamdulillah, the, the way it is in heaven. So, I want to do a video about heaven, how we place things in heaven and how, uh, how things are ordinated in heaven. So basically, we have mother first, then we have father, then we have son or daughter, you know. So we have an ornament because God has said that anyway, mother comes first, then comes father, and then comes the baby. So it's just the way God God said it is that the way it is. So women are placed very high in Islam. And we are placed above men because you know God said because of the you know we struggle a lot here you know we have much you know stuff that we are uh, going through here that men don't don't you know for example we have we are carrying our child right we are carrying a child so the woman can uh, make an uh, make uh, her mind up and say, well, I want to stay at home and fast while I am pregnant. Or she can go to the disco while she's pregnant. So we have different priorities in life. All women prioritize themselves differently. For an example, I prioritize myself with fasting and praying because I believe that's the way it is. So while I was pregnant with my baby, I actually was uh, fasting and praying for nine months, okay, and during these nine months, people were very mean to me. I had people who were, you know, very mean to me. They were basically coming and knocking up on my door. I had people, you know, I always speak with God. But God told me people were making demons uh, at me. People were, uh, you know, putting pictures on your Facebook uh, about my belly while I had baby inside and you know all of this kind of stuff so actually I had pregnancy I was fasting for nine months okay nine months fasting straight fasting and praying and so of course God will appreciate the mama more than the baby even though if the baby is a prophet because mother was holding the baby inside and she was the one who was fasting and praying all the time too. So, mother comes first. Mother was praying to God that she would be having a baby safely in her too. So, it all works, you know, around. It all goes around. But anyhow, God could have, you know, even though if the baby is a prophet and the baby is inside praying to God that this and this will happen to my mother, please. God could have said, no, your mother will not be that way. She will be a different way, okay? But she actually prayed, so it means that God loves her too, okay? Just to make it clear, you know, if, if, the baby, if the baby could have been inside, the baby could have been praying, and the mother would have been bad. She would have been gone making demons, uh, doing bad stuff too, even though the baby inside prayed. So, it all works around. I am just, you know, trying to explain that mother goes through a lot of things. She's, uh, you know, she she ain't. For an example, a woman can be thrown out on the street, having no man, no father, no brother, no sister, and no man to take care of her. She only has God, and it's in the Quran. A woman may not be thrown out on the street while she is unmarried. She may not. An uh, unmarried woman may not be on her own, you know. A woman who has no husband may not be on the street on her own. She always has to have a man. So, you know, it all goes around. It all comes back to that the mother is, you know, very honorable. She's very hurt. You know, she's very, uh, she's very emotional. It's very hard to break her feelings. It's very hard to explain her place because we all are different types of mothers. We all so different, but we all struggle with the same thing. We have our periods, 
we have our uh, emotional state, which is unbalanced, and we also have, you know, our eager to to take care of someone because that is what God has blessed us with. God has blessed us with a a, a blessing called wanting to take care of somebody, wanting to take care of a man. This is how all the women are born, you know, more or less, more or less. We are born with this instinct in our heart that we want to take care of our child, we want to take care and protect. You know, that just like the lion and tiger that we are like, you know, stay away from my child, I'm going to take care of it. So that's the way we are. And then it comes father, because father, he's like, mm, you know, he's, He's kind of, you know, strong, and he's like, no, you may not do this, you may do this. He's commanding, and that's what he has been born with. So we all are born with different. Then we have our babies, which is, baby are, you know, kind of a little difficult to take care of. So, basically, we have all our place in paradise. We all have our placement. So, you know, if, if God says that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. And, I mean, I do pray to God that, you know, as a mother, I will be up higher than my father and than my son. I do pray so, even if my son would be a prophet, you know, God knows. So, God knows what will happen, right? <laughs> so, I'm just, you know, praying to God. And I'm basically praying to God to, for God to take care of me and, you know, for me to always be placed up above higher than my baby and my father. I always want to be higher up because that's the way it is. I am the princess, you know, in, in paradise. Everything moves around me. I pray to God and my babies follow the Quran and they pray to God too. What does mother want? What does mother want? So if mother says mother wants to be forgiven by God and she wants to always have that place high in paradise, then hopefully God will listen to the prayer. Sometimes mother are a little bit com confusing to the men because we sometimes don't know what we want. You know, sometimes we break down and we cry and they are like, man, you just laugh, why are you crying now? So we are like trying to explain and we can't explain, then we get angry. So we have all of these bunch of emotions, and God knows, God holds our emotions, so He knows what's inside. He knows that, oh man, you know, sometimes we are very hard on ourselves. We have done something bad, and we are like, dang, probably God wants to give us, you know. We sometimes give up easier than men. We sometimes say, well, God, maybe you shouldn't forgive me because of this and that. You know, maybe you shouldn't forgive me because of this and that. So, but deep inside, we are like, man, of course I want to be in heaven. I want to be the princess. I want to have all of the stuff. I want to have all of the, the voice space. So, you know, it's different. I don't know how to explain. And then we have the man. Basically, he will be pleased anyhow because <laughs> his girl is a princess, you know. Every boy with a dream is to have a princess. So, he will be happy 24-7, you know. Just by watching her, he will basically come. And in paradise, we, we, we do it in different ways, you know. We don't have uh, those uh, physical needs and physical happenings that we have here. So basically, in paradise, we can come, you know, all the time. We can come by ease. We can come by, by thinking, you know. It's different up in paradise. We have a whole different uh, soul. Our soul has blossomed and become, become so... Uh, so, uh, you know, appreciated by God, so that He will take our soul and make it pretty, you know. Just like, you know, I don't know how to explain. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I mean, we all women are different. So, uh, if, if a woman is pregnant and her son is praying for her too, well, the son's prayers is going to be weighed up in heaven also for her too because he wanted it so but if she doesn't want it then it will go on you know it will go on him and if she was stupid and making something bad when she was pregnant if she was going around and fucking a lot you know was uh, unfaithful uh, to her husband 
then she will be she will be in hell for that. So you know, I know I I don't know. Uh, so I know uh, Jesus Allah a little bit. You know, I don't know him a lot, but I know him a little bit. I'm bringing him up because basically he is the one who who, who also come and sends our prayer to God. And you know, he's a very blessed little boy because, you know, mashallah, he's always been in heaven, understand? So, he will be there on, on the judgment day and he will judge us too. So, basically, I want all blessings I can get, you know, if, you know, I don't want anything bad for me. You know, sometimes as a woman, we say bad things, we say, no, I don't want it when we're angry. So God will ask us later on just and say, well, do you believe this? Do you think it was like this? And mama, mama will say, well, God, I want all of the blessings I can get. I want every blessing I can get. I want all of this to be counted on me because I swear I, I want to be in heaven. So basically, it all depends on your insight. Do you want to be in heaven or do you want to be in hell? Because, you know, that's what it depends on. People who, people, of course, when you're people who have, when you are in hell, like when you people already have, you know, already is sent to hell, and their judgment is already sent to hell, then all of their people and women will be like, I don't want to be in hell. But, you know, before that, you have to be aware that I don't want to go to hell. Sometimes we say stuff, but our heart and soul mean something else by the whole saving even. So, Yes. So of course, you know, we want to be forgiven. I mean, right? Don't you want to be forgiven by God? So think about what you do and and make something so that you will be forgiven by God. And remember that God is the greatest. You know, God comes first. He is up above us all. He comes first. Then comes Mama. Then comes Father. Then comes Baby. So that's the way it is. If father is not nice to mother, then father is gone. You know, mother comes first. 